Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex Arnaznas here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a detailed guide about how to get started with flipping. Uh, I did actually make a guide about flipping way back in like 2013, 2014, but in this guide, this is gonna be more accurate with uh, resources that you can use to help you make the most money flipping possible, show you everything about, you know, margins, um, you know, finding items to flip, what kind of items to flip, how to flip items, different ways of flipping, such as checking margins yourself, such as guessing where to buy and sell items and what price using various resources like Discord and the forums and stuff like that. So hopefully this guide will get you started with flipping and help you make some money. All right, so for simple margin trading for flipping, what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of an item that you may want to flip. So. For me, I'm going to do something that is usable a lot and bought a lot. Something very simple just for this video. So we're going to go with Sailfish. So what you do is you go to Sailfish and you'll basically just buy one for, you know, way over the normal price and it insta buys. Now this is what you're going to want to sell your item for once you have it. So this is your sell price. This is what you're gonna to wanna to sell back for profit. So 5,600. So now we're gonna sell our sale fish and we're gonna just drop it down really low and sell it instantly. 5,508. So this is what you're gonna to wanna to buy your sale fish for. So the difference between these two is, ni is 92 GP. So that means your margin of profit is 92 GP. So what you'll do is you'll buy the sailfish for around this price right here, 5508, and you'll sell them for 5600. Obviously this can change. Obviously it's not always going to buy. Some items will have a huge margin, then you'll go to buy them and you'll only get like 20 and it won't make you much profit. But a lot of these do work and this is a good way to check the margin of items that aren't, you know, um, you know, more bulk items, you know, like I can't go in here and go Torva plate body and check the margin because one, I'd probably lose a lot of money. Two, if you look up here, the buy limit per four hours is only two of these. So if you want to flip these, you're going to have to do it without checking the margin, which will bring us into the next topic. But first, I'm going to sh try to show you a successful flip of uh, an item. So we're going to look up things here. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Sarah or Ceridome and Brews, those are traded a lot. So we'll go with Ceridome and Brew Flasks, and this shouldn't be too hard. The margin might not be huge, but we'll, we will take a look. So if we look here, looks like it is a 274 GP margin, which, you know, that's not that great. So we're gonna look for another item here. We are gonna go for, hmm, Maybe we'll, we'll look at Super Restore Flasks now because, you know, everybody uses those as well as a bruise. So, 13k. If we're looking for about 1k would be decent. 12, 5, 7, 6. You know what? That's actually not that bad. So, you can buy a thousand of these. So, let's see. Sale price 12, 5, 7, 6. We look in here, we go 12, 5, 7, Eight, we're gonna you know raise it a little bit so we you know are the top offer in there and then we click buy now I will be back when this buys and we will see uh, how much we can sell for and how much profit we make so as you can see here guys we are back not too long later and we did end up buying a thousand super restore flasks for 12.58 mil so we paid 12,580 each as indicated by our sold price down here. And now we put them into sell at a little under the buy price, which is 13 K. So as you can see, we've put them in here for 12,997 each, and they did all sell in not too long of time. So if you look here, we sold them for 13 mil. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, 
we bought them for 12.58 mil, so we ended up making a little bit over 400K from that flip. And that is the classic, you know, you check the margins, you buy a bunch for that price, and then you sell it for the other price, how I explained earlier. And now we're gonna move on to more speculative type flips, which you're basically gonna be using uh, resources to price check what things have been buying or selling for through the forums and various other methods and then you'll put in a price that you think will work and then you'll buy something and sell it and it's a bit different than this so I'm going to show you that method now. All right guys, so now you can see we're actually on the price check and trade discord. Now for bigger items that you can't check the margin yourself, you're going to have to use other resources to find the price. So basically here you can type like .pc and I'll put the link in the description for everyone and you can price check basically any item in the game. Obviously you can't price check things like we type bucket of milk. There's no results for a bucket of milk because no one's price checking a bucket of milk. But for example, we'll do PC dry gore. As you can see, there's all the dry gores and you know their price ranges as of recently. But if we want to narrow it down, we're going to use something like offhand dry gore longsword for example now it will give us a page that shows the latest trade so as you can see it insta sold ins means insta sold for 41.8 mil 11 hours ago so that means if somebody put the put the item in and dumped it you know the they got 41.8 mil so that's going to be around where we want to buy this for and then obviously we will sell it for higher um, if you look down here, you know, they were insta selling for 44.4 mil. So, you know, it varies how many weeks ago and stuff like that. But now we're going to go back to the game. And this is a great resource, though, to see price check things and, you know, help you with your flipping. But we're going to go back to the game and I'll show you how to put this to action. All right, guys. So now that we're back in the game, we're going to put this to action. So if we look up offhand drag or longsword we remember that it insta sold for 41.8 mil so i'm gonna buy a little above that i'm gonna buy for 41 mil 950k and we'll basically put this in and confirm our offer now this is what we're going to want to buy it for obviously now what we're going to want to sell it for you can either look at the insta bot price recently which it means you know somebody really wants to drag or longsword and they put an offer for you know a ton of money and that's what it insta bought for so that's what you'll want to sell it for now you can do that or you could just say you know i bought this for 41.9 mil i'm gonna sell it for 44 mil so we're gonna wait for this offer to buy. It shouldn't take too long, you know. You can only flip one of each dry gore per day, so it's not like somebody's hoarding the market or anything. Um, and that's also a reason why you can't check the margin on these yourself, because often the margin is pretty big, so you don't wanna lose two mil from checking the margin. And you can only buy one every four hours, so, um, you know, there's no real reason to check the margin because then you won't be able to buy anymore for four more hours and the price will probably change. So we're gonna wait for this to buy and then see if we can sell it. All right guys, so as you can see here, our offhand dragger longsword ended up buying for 41.95 mil, which was a little over what the Insta sell price was. So now we're going to take it and we're gonna put it back in for I would say 44 mil, judging by the past prices, this would give us a little over two mil profit, take off a little GP at the end, and that is all you do for flipping these types of items. All right guys, so after seeing how to flip and do different things with, you know, checking margins, using price check uh, discords, you might ask yourself, what items do I flip? Because there's tons of items. I don't know where to start. I don't know which ones to flip. Well, this is where you kind of have to be creative and experiment. You'll find items that work well for you, that don't work well for you, that don't buy fast enough, that do. So things for like bulk items, you can easily check margins, like anything like quorum, in quorum incense sticks, for example, or any incense sticks people use for bossing, you know, any food like sailfish, sailfish soup, stuff like that are gonna always buy and sell a lot on the GE, you know. Um, different potion flasks are going to always, you know, 
buy and sell so much because you gotta think how many of those are going in and out of the GE per day. Uh, raw materials like, you know, grimy herbs, you've got, uh, you know, energies. Um, you can try things like, uh, you know, stuff to make the tier 92 armors like ancient scales. Um, the, a lot of bulk items like that, you just got to really be creative. You got to look at the limits and, and just find things that work for you. Um, as for the speculation type things that you actually have to kind of research the price and what things have been selling for, um, you know, next armor is great, like Torva items. I think the limit is uh, two per four hours and there's some pretty expensive ones here. Um, as of course you can do like noxious weapons. You can, if you have a lot of money, you can do like, uh, you can do like Telos tier 92 weapons, you know, bloodbound crossbows, stuff like that. I like dabbling in codexes. I feel like, you know, you can get some pretty good margins on those as they're not really, um, I mean, they are bought and sold very often, but often people just get them as a drop and want to sell them, you know, pretty quick. And then if you're somebody that, um, you know, needs, you know, I don't know, greater barge, you're probably just going to throw in an offer for a lot of money because you just want to get it and use it. So I like looking at the codexes, which of course you can use that price check discord to look at those as well. Um, and then we have the items like, I don't know, Santa hat, which are, you know, huge big ticket items that have been, you know, subject to price manipulation recently. I've never really done any rares, flipped any rares because you just need a massive amount of money. It could take you like a week to flip one item, although the payoff would probably be a lot. If you want to get into the huge items, I would recommend starting with things like, you know, either dyes, like I flipped some barrows and shadow dyes before. Um, you can go into third age because these items are going to take, you know, all day, if not multiple days to buy and sell, but the payouts and margins can be pretty, pretty big. So yeah, there's a lot of options in, in uh, flipping and you just have to find what works for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope it helped you out. If it did, please like the video, comment, tell me what you thought about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more guides, you know, uh, entertaining videos like I have a Road to Party at series and uh, put it on your notifications so you don't miss a video. And yeah, thanks for watching guys.